it's just a story that's five years old. So now it's five, like, 2011, I think. It was three, it was three a.m. in the morning. Now, my, I always, you, you get still, like, very late, and my mom do this, so. It was this one time in 3 a.m. where it was a snow day like today. But I was watching some SpongeBob on Nickelodeon, and then I heard this weird tap at my window. I wanna go check it out to see this white these two white things looking at me. I I just I just thought it was stars or something. But then I noticed it was getting closer. Then I decided to close the windows and lay down. I'll say about like three twenty at AM something fell down my room. I woke up instantly to see that it was my cross. Because if you don't know, I am religious, I am Christian, but I saw that one of my crosses were on the floor. The one that I usually keep up, the big cross. I picked it up to think that it just fell over, but if I was but if I would have known it don't it it wouldn't feel like it wouldn't fall like that. I went to bed again. At three thirty AM something went came in my room. I woke up to see this black mass with white staring eyes at me. It was just staring at me. To me, I looked up and I saw it had these two horns and just red eyes, just white eyes that to me looked like it looked like it was turning red. I quickly back I quickly Ran. I quick. I didn't run, but I quickly went, went to sleep. I woke up at three forty. Like to me, I think it was just waking me up the middle of the night to see it again. But this time, to me, it looked like like it grew to a lot of stuff. I thought I was dreaming, so I pinched myself. I pinched myself like over and over again, like five times. I didn't wake up. That's why I knew it was real. I had this cross at the side of my bed. I picked it up. I showed it to it. It just stared at me like it was confused or it was angry. It left. Then I thought it was all over. The three fifty came. I stayed up to make sure it won't it won't come back and see how it came in. It just it would just it would just appear. It was there in my doorway, looking at me, with its eyes fully red. I quickly grabbed my cross again and threw it at it. It looked like it was weak or it couldn't stand its strength no more, so it backed it off. The next day at 3, I sit up at the whole 3 o'clock. It came back. This time, something was different. It had one of its arms missing, one of its legs missing. Its eyeballs were just gone. It had sharp teeth this time. To me, it looked like he had no fingers, like no nose, just staring at me with no eyes. But then it's to me, it, mo it moved his mouth. So to me, I think it was saying a chant. I grabbed two crosses from my bed again and threw it at it. This time, I'm pretty sure, getting it, getting it away forever.